come here. You know you can't knock the hustle. It's the way that we play. It's just another sunny day in California. What's up, guys? So we had a great time last night over at the in-laws, trick-or-treating in that neighborhood, everything. Um, man, some of the decorations were just super lit, as you could see. The neighbor across the street, that dude had about at least 10 of those, I don't know, looked like 20 feet tall uh, monsters up there. But I think that was really cool. Today is a new day, and guess what? We got a leak. And what's worse, it's not leaking in our bathroom, it's leaking within our walls. So, down here behind the toilet, this is completely, so you see how it moves? I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but definitely soft, something going on there. Um, I haven't even looked back here, but I'm pretty sure it's coming from our toilet. I could be wrong. I just know that it's definitely coming from back there. So, we come into the garage and it's all wet. That's brick right there. You see that? That's all brick. So, that's a problem, big problem. On top of the leak that we had in my wife's office, which I think that's a separate issue coming from the upstairs bathroom, we can't figure it out if it's the toilet or if it's the shower. About a month ago or so, see the yellow spots right there? That started, I know what that looks like. So right away I was like, you know what? That's water, because we had a ceiling leak in the front room not too long ago. The first time I cut this open, water just came down spilling on the floor. And it was like a big puddle. But after that, like nothing. We turned the shower on, we, we flushed the toilet. I mean, obviously it's exposed, it's right here above. I know it's not very safe, but above my wife's head here that's another issue but that's upstairs but who knows that could be draining somewhere oh let me top it off I don't know if you guys can tell I have to come back here you can't see that I'll insert a photo our tile is lifting you can kind of see it right there we thought it was just like you know water spills whatever kids coming from the pool but nah this thing is like when you step on it and it, it it goes down and I know it's all related to coming from that area. And this is where it gets interesting. In the garage further down, right there, that pipe is connected to our water heater. The other day we were taking out, you know, taking off unloading totes off the top here. You know, it was completely dry. A couple days later I went back up here to take some stuff off. And there was a puddle of water on there and it had to have come from there. As you could tell, that looks like a possible, see the crack right there? There was water built up in there. Now, right above here, downways on the other side of the wall is my wife's office. So somewhere there's a there's a leak in between there. So we got one up there. We got one on this side. It smells like, you know, that, that dusty, woody, like wood smell when water gets on it and whatnot. Called the insurance today and then the insurance called the adjuster. So I went for the adjuster to hit me back and we can get a plumber out here and start tearing up this place and see exactly where it's at. Hopefully it's not bigger than what we expected, right? So stay tuned for that. It's Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving, you guys! And all I can think about is eating. I want to eat so bad. I'm so hungry. I've been busy all morning. Yeah, you yeah. <laughs> have. Running around like a damn turkey, I swear. But anyways, happy Thanksgiving, you guys. I hope you guys are spending it with your family or even if you're just chilling at home making your turkey by yourself. That's all good, too. So we're actually on our way to my mother-in-law's house. We're gonna pick her up and then head to my parents' house because we're doing a quick little Thanksgiving dinner there because as you guys know, we typically do go to the desert. Last year... Lunch, lunch. Oh yeah, it's like a... Brunch. <laughs> it's a dinner. <laughs> It's a early dinner, there you go. So last year, do you remember we actually went to the desert on Wednesday? No, I don't. Yeah, we did. So we went on Wednesday so we can wake up and celebrate Thanksgiving there and we did all our cooking and everything there. But do you remember what sucked about last year? It was windy? It was so windy. So we had to like eat our Thanksgiving dinner in the back of my dad's like long trailer. Um, so we were like, that's kind of a lot of work. Yeah, I forgot I know. About that. So this year we're like, we're just gonna do it again. We're gonna eat real quick at my parents' house and then go get our trailers and head to the desert. Which is also cool because my mom's not going camping with us, so at least she gets to spend Thanksgiving with yeah. us. Matter of fact, we're picking her up right now. Yep, we're here right now, and then we're gonna head to my parents' house, so we'll see you guys in a bit.
and the place to be at the suegros pulling up i just went and picked up my mom yeah let's go inside and say hi to everybody say happy thanksgiving What's up, Pop? What's up, Bunk Boys? There's a Bluma in the house. Mama Gloria in the house. Happy Thanksgiving. You need to record the bus yeah. of prayer. That's you know, everybody needs Jesus, babe. Okay. That's weird. Yeah. Why is it brother? Good girls. Okay. I mean, the it was the butter. I mean, it was the sugar yeah, that was on there. We're supposed to be thankful for our food. I That's am. right, homie. Tell them what's up. Okay, the person who ate a whole leg without thinking. Mom, I got you. Oh, yeah. Why not? Jamie was eating when we pulled up. Yeah, I was eating three dogs. Did she not get sweet potatoes? Oh, no. She know. said she did. Did you not yeah. bring the green bean casserole? Mm. I did. Where's the green bean casserole? Yeah. Where's the green bean casserole? It's a yam. Do y'all like yams? Give us a big thumbs up. You like yams? Yeah, mash it out. Turkey. And we missed Gabriel's fried. Fried turkey though, homie. Uh, maybe next year. Damn. Maybe next year I'll host Wild in the Kitchen. What's cracking everybody? So we left Riverside or Corona I should say and we made it out here to the desert. So here we are again, Thanksgiving weekend. There's really nobody here. Now actually there's one, two, three, four, five, six trailers right now. We're expecting about another, at least another six. Not sure tonight, maybe tomorrow for sure. But I know we got at least maybe two or three pulling up tonight. We got our setup. Boom, nothing you guys haven't seen before. First time to our channel. Welcome. Welcome to the RBG Fam channel. Please smash that subscribe button and give this video a big like right now if you and your family love to go camping. And comment down below, let us know where you guys go camping to as well. And do you go Thanksgiving weekend? We usually do. We usually end up here at the desert. I was just talking to Vanessa. I was like, no, this is like our maybe ninth or tenth uh, year together coming up. Obviously, she's been coming before I was introduced to her and her dad. What's special about this weekend besides hanging out with family is, yo, we are shooting a lot of Shade of Brown music video for the new single called Living Life. So if you guys seen our previous vlogs, my day oneers out there, you already know what to expect out the desert. We got some, you know, Can-Am riding, razors, quads, all that. We're gonna be hitting the mountain soon. That's all happening on Saturday. Today's Thursday, Thanksgiving, and uh, we're just gonna chill tonight. I'm gonna go unhitch right now, get Elijah's quad. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. He doesn't need to be riding this late at night. Yeah, I don't want him to ride. Yeah, for day. sure. So tomorrow, definitely get that fun in the sun. Right now, I think the hyena needs a little traguesito. So, I'm gonna hook her up right now. She be back on her jack. Back on jack. And shout outs to my girl, Bella. Shout outs to Bella's 951 girl for the birthday gift. She gave me this big ass bottle of Grey She's Goose. Opening it. <laughs> Finally, yeah. I'm doing some Grey Goose, and I think we got a little bit of mixer. What mixer do we have, babe? Oh, you have your um, Powerade Zero or something. That's right, because you know I be on my low carb diet. You know what I'm saying? So I just started this week keto again, guys. I weigh 207 pounds. I'm not ashamed to tell you, but I'm ashamed to rock it. So I need to be around the 185 mark. So definitely low carb is where it's at. So I got my. Uh, Power age right there. That's zero carbs right there. <laughs> hey. What are we doing over here? Shot, shot. Shots. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. What's your Grinch? <laughs> Okay. You're a Grinch, you need a shot. Yeah, <laughs> right. give me. No Grinches. No, no, you can get shot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, it is that time. We're about to pop bottles with our kids plus orange juice. With all the good vitamins. Here, babe, are you ready to pop my bottle? Yeah, I'll pop your bottle. <laughs> I'll take the cork out. <laughs> pop champagne. Oh. You know what I'm saying, guys? I've done this many times. Be careful, though. Don't try this at home. <laughs> Only at the desert. <laughs> Boop. Cheers, babe. Cheers, babe. Love you. Happy Thanksgiving. Thankful for you. Yes. 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 Yes.
So this morning we got Elijah's quad off the truck and it's leaking from the carburetor. There's a hose down here. And according to what they say, because I'm not a mechanic, they said there's a the float inside the carburetor is stuck. What you got over there? Ingo wood, get it? Wood, got some firewood for the weekend. What's cracking everybody? So we're back from the desert and actually it's been a few days but we are out and about. Look at our garage. It is a mess as usual. Ain't nothing new to the RBG fan blog. Not for long, not for long. Not for long because we got some things popping in here. But soon all of this will become not just a podcast studio, not just a recording studio, not just a Twitch studio a multi-media room brown royal studios block out podcast headquarters on its way in the meantime we got to get this place cleared up today though is decoration day for christmas you see the hyena already in her natural habitat we're like late we're late we're not late tomorrow's the first i mean i made my sweatshirt get your dts by the way i changed my company name i'm not designed by ness anymore or pixie rain craft supplies go find us pixie rain Pixie Rain. Oh, Whoa. All right, so yeah, that's what we're doing today, guys. So as you can see, we're getting the totes out. We'll come back to you in a little bit. You know we got to have music. You know we got the official Sunday afternoon. There are two girls, our little girls, painting for Christmas. What are you painting, BB? I don't You don't know? I'm painting that's a paper. Oh, on the paper? Yeah. Is that lemonade? Um, no. <laughs> I'm not lemonade. No? It's water. And what's that over there? Huh? What's Layla painting? A Christmas candy. That's a candy cane. Candy cane? Yeah. Some old school one. So guys, this is like, obviously it's old for a reason and Vanessa hung on to them. Her grandpa, who is now deceased, gave her these candy canes. He made them for you? He made them. He, he did a lot of wood stuff for like Christmas. Yeah. So now Layla is giving it a fresh paint coat. And Amaya is helping. What are you doing, BB? I'm helping Sissy. You're helping Sissy? You're a good girl. I dug in the lights. Come to find out. Okay, I got these up. Did the old school icicles up there. Now I'm trying to go back up there and do those. Problem is, I don't know where those lights are. These lights are the tail end. They go over there at the end of the house. That's later, later. These right here, I thought went upstairs, but these are the short ones right here. And these are also LED lights, which are wider. So that's not gonna work. So that means those lights are somewhere else. The top lights, stay tuned. What's up everybody? Happy holidays. Guess what? It's another, another birthday. birthday. Katrina, Katrina, you know Gabriel Katrina. Uh, it's her birthday today. Happy birthday, Katrina. Happy birthday. Should we tell her age? Happy birthday. What? In case you're wondering, we're here at Dos Lagos in Corona. Look at the walls though, babe. Very festive, very Christmassy. This is dope how they did that. We're going right there to All Stars. You know, little sports bar and grill. Go chill, go hang out, have a couple drinky drinks. And tomorrow I'm heading out of town to Sacramento. Shout out to Sac Town okay, for a show. Okay. And let's pull on up. So uh, Vanessa's giving Kelly's a gift from 2020. Hey, Finally. Don't, don't, don't put it on the spot. She gets nervous. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Layla number two over here. I'll just be the creeper in the corner over here. <laughs> What'd you get her? Shoes. Let me see. I like, I I shoes I put on my Elster. Oh, hell yeah. I like how these, they're so light. Usually platforms are heavy. No, these are shoes. They're like really, really comfortable. I feel not like light these are. So I need oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> birthday girl. Happy birthday. 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 
One time for the birthday girl. Hey! Took my decision. Oh no. Boy and girl, and that would equal me and you Sharing dreams while caught up in this moonlight I never argued and never once caused a fight Respect was the main key to our relation Going on trips and spending three-week vacations 